it does. Goes back to it does. Mm -hmm. The Wake County chapter of the American Cancer Society is looking for help. Right now, they have more cancer patients that need rides to and from treatment than they have drivers to provide the volunteer service. The American Cancer Society says they have around 50 drivers in their Road to Recovery database, but less than half are active. For ACS volunteer driver Linda Willett, the experience of helping others has been very rewarding. Oh, I enjoy it. You build relationships and you know you're helping people. She says the process of getting involved <laughs> is a very easy one. In fact, I did all mine online. Um, you just put all your information in there and they'll get back with you and they'll tell you they're going to do a background check on me. And it took a couple of weeks to get approved. It doesn't take much out of your day, time-wise. If it's radiation, it's like a 30-minute wait. If it's chemo, it's usually three hours. I would just drop them off and go do chores or run errands and then go back and pick them up. And it's just a small segment of my free time. Laura Cusin of the American Cancer Society says volunteering can be set up by locality. We have it broken down in the system where they can either identify a specific county, so Wake County, or they can actually identify specific zip codes within that county. Alexa Reinhardt is a road to recovery user. She says the experience was much more than getting a ride to the hospital for treatment. You build a nice relationship, especially if they're more than a one-time drive, um, because it's like a good half an hour drive from where my house is to the hospital. If interested in becoming a volunteer, you can go to the ACS website, cancer.org. Click Get Involved, then click Volunteer. From there, click the Road to Recovery link. Then click Sign Up to Volunteer and fill out the information. There's a lot of good people out there. There really is, and you didn't realize it until you needed the help. So, yeah, I was very fortunate. Carl Richardson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.